Hello my dear pattern drafters and thank you for joining me. Here I'm going to explain how to quickly assemble your PDF patterns. If you've purchased one of my patterns and you're here, thank you so much. But if you don't know about my shop, please see the link below for other patterns and information. Thank you. Right, so when you purchase a pattern and you get one of the A4 US sizes, it is in layers. Try and download Adobe Acrobat Reader, the free version, so that you can have access to this. I can't verify other software. So this is your layers tab. You click that open and you can now specify which size you want. First of all, you can, down, you can simply just print it as is. It's always useful to have all the sizes at once so that you can customize and manipulate it the way you want. But if you really just want to take one size at a time, here is what you do. You turn off all the other sizes. So here I'm leaving only size 14, as you can see, I can maybe pick a 14 and say a 16, or maybe I just want 14 and a 20. It's your choice. You can select the sizes, but do not use, do not touch and labels. Just ignore those two because if you put them off, you're going to put up all the descriptors on the screen. So that's how you select. As I said, you can just select everything and print as one. Now, if you go into your print menu, I would advise you print out page one first, because this has a test square for you to make sure that your printer is at the right settings before you print out the rest of the pages. So first of all, select your printer. Next, you select the pages. In this case, start with page one. Once you're done testing it, you can print out the rest of the document. But I'm going to just put all. Then you're going to select size on that page sizing. And make sure you select actual size. Or if you use custom size, make sure it's 100%. Do not use fits. Do not use shrink or anything like that. Then next, your orientation, you want to put it on auto. Now, this is very important. This actual document is seven by 10 inches. This will allow it to print easily on US letter size or A4 size. As you can see from the preview, there should be a boundary around your pattern. So always select auto so that it centralizes it on your paper. After that, you go to page setup, select the paper you're going to use to be printing. It should be facing the portrait direction and okay. And now you can go ahead and print. Right, so you want to have printed page one out, as I said, just so you can measure this test square. On the outside, we have centimeters, so we should measure five centimeters down. And you should also measure five centimeters across. On the inside, you have inches, so it should be one inch square right inside. Now, if you're happy and it's accurate, go ahead and print out the rest of the pattern. Now, the pattern is labeled right in the middle. You see A1, B1, and so on. A is for, um, the letters are for rows, and the numbers are for columns. So we have all the A's, the B's, the C's, and the D's, at least for this pattern. So let's start with the A. So you see it's A1, A2, A3 and A4. Right, all we want to do is arrange the rows first. Right, you want to match these triangles and these lines. So you basically just want to get them to match up together. You can either cut off this edge or you can just fold it away, which is what I like to do. So just fold right on that line. And you can match it like this. And that's all there is to it. So you're going to do that to the others, fold it and match it up. Right, 
right so now we're going to take some sticky glue or sellotape or gum whatever you have handy I'm using gum just apply lightly you don't want your paper to get wrinkled just take your time and line up the edges okay now we'll just do the remaining Now that you're done with row A, you're going to do the same thing for row B, C, and D, or however many rows you have. It really depends on the pattern. So I'm just going to do that and we'll get back. So now I've done B, I've done C, and I've done D. Let's put this away first. So you're just going to align it in the same way. What I've done, I have folded over the top edge, just like this, just fold it carefully, try to make sure it's straight. And then we'll align it like that in the same way. Now, what I do, don't press it down immediately. I like to line up the triangles first. Just match up the triangle, adjust the line, and then you can smooth it out. Move to the next triangle, line it up, and smooth it out like so. Just take your time with this. Alright, and it's done. And you can smooth out the whole thing. So we're just going to go ahead and do row C and row D. All right, we are done. So you're done, you've printed your pattern. It's yours, it's ready to use. You can simply trace out your size. If you're a size eight, you trace out a size eight following the lines, or you can just go ahead and pr uh, cut it out if you don't even want to trace, it's your choice. Now, as you can see here, this is the full pattern. If you don't select any sizes at the printing stage, you can print out the full pattern the way it is, just like that and you can make do with the way you want now on the side of the pattern you have these instructions just quick tips on printing picking your size a quick size key the quick size guide with the lines and everything and also uh, if you print out the whole size you can blend sizes so you can blend between size 8 and size 10 and 18 and 8 and whatnot. I'll explain all that in another video. Let's not complicate things. But that is why you should sometimes print the whole pattern. Now, there's links below for the shop or any other information you need. Please check the description. You can leave me comments on any of my social medias here. And I'll be sure to get back to you. Bye.